guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Mass Medicals. I am Kayan. And I am Kiana. So all the first year medicals watching this video, you all must be really excited to begin this wonderful journey as doctors. <laughs> well, unlike the books you read in school, the medical books are very fascinating. They have a lot of information which needs to be crammed, but they also have a lot of colorful diagrams which will keep you motivated. We will tell you about all the books of all subjects and then you can go for the ones that you find interesting. The book selection will depend majorly upon three factors. The time that you have left in your hands. Second, the interest that you have in that particular subject. And thirdly, depending upon whether you want to gain knowledge for that subject or you just want to pass your exams. For starters, the first year has three subjects that's anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. Well, for anatomy, BDC, the Bible, you have a general anatomy book, which looks something like this. And we have four volumes of BDC. The first volume that is upper limb and thorax. The second volume that's lower limb and abdomen. The third volume, head and neck. And the fourth, neuroanatomy. For the fourth volume, people also opt for Vishram Singh, as you can see. The Vishram Singh, it has quite simple language and there are more colorful diagrams in it. Also, the fourth part of BDC has some missing concepts in it which are well covered in Vishram Singh. Well, for history and embryology, you have these two books from, by Indrabir Singh. Well, hardly anyone reads both of these books as you won't have sufficient time for these subjects and also their weightage is quite less as we compare to the other subjects. The other books that you can buy are Grey's Anatomy, Natter's Color Atlas for Diagrams and Cunningham for Practical Point of View. But we won't suggest you buying all these books as they are quite bulky and you won't have enough time to read all these books and complete them before your exams. Else we'll be uploading our handwritten notes which will be more than sufficient. The books you can refer for physiology is in the Khurana or Sembolingam. Well, both of these books, they are quite similar to each other. But Sembolingam, it has easier language and it is easy to remember as it has better flowcharts in it and also the colorful pages, they will keep you focused. The gold standard book for physiology is Guyton. You can refer to it to clear your concepts. But we won't suggest you reading that for your prop exams because you won't be able to retain all the information given in it. Still, if you are interested in reading it, then you can go to your library and issue it from there. In biochemistry, you can refer to two books. One is Vasudevan and the other is Satyanarayan. Well, Satyanarayan has easier language which you'll be able to recall easily during our exams. Whereas we have Vasudevan, the language is quite difficult to understand and you might not be able to recall it during our exams. And if you're still interested, you can issue it from your library. The gold standard book in biochemistry is considered Harper and Lippincott, but frankly speaking, as far as we know, we haven't seen it in anyone's hand and people hardly refer it for biochemistry. To summarize the video, we would recommend you to read the books that we read. That for is anatomy, you can cover gross and general anatomy from BDC. And for neuroanatomy part, you can refer to Vishram Singh. And embryology and histology, you can refer to Inderbir Singh. As far as physiology, you can refer to Sembalingam. And for biochemistry, you can go for Satyanarayan. So if you like our work, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow our Instagram page. The link is given in the description box below.